Hello, today we're going to be talking about Neon Genesis Evangelion once again, since you guys seem to enjoy these videos and I like making them. Now today we are going to be talking about something we haven't even touched on yet in any of these videos. We are going to be talking about Misato Kasaragi's treatment of Shinji Ikari and Asuka Langley Thoryu. Or rather, we are mostly going to be discussing her mistreatment of the two and her failure as the Guardian to the two Ava pilot. But before we get into her failures, I do want to talk about the good things she did. First of all, it is important to remember that Shinji was originally going to be living on his own, much like Rei Ayanami did. However, Misato Sato made the decision to take Shinji into her home and try to care for him of her own accord. As seen in episode 7 of Human Work, Miss Sato also attended Shinji Ikari's parent-teacher conference in Gendo Place. She shows interest in the fact that Shinji is making friends at school and is quite happy with the way he is opening up to others. In episode 10, she also shows concern when she sees Asuka and Shinji declining grades. It is important to note that it is very clear that the pilot's education is clearly not a concern of nerves. The school that they attend is merely a means of keeping them occupied when they are not training or piloting Ava to combat the angels. As we learn later on, the school also also acts as a way for Nerve to keep all the potential candidates for pilots at 40 Evangelion in one place. But their actual grades and whether or not they pass or fail seems irrelevant to Nerve's goal. As long as it does not affect their piloting, I see no reason for Nerve to concern themselves with the grades of the children. Meaning this concern is entirely Misato's own personal concern for the two children. She also takes Shinji and Asuka to a hot spring and pays for them to have a short vacation after their defeat of the Ace Angel. She also clearly cared about Shinji. I would even go as far as to say she may love Shinji. But that brings us to the problems with Misato as a guardian. At the end of episode 10, when Misato and Asuka are in the hot spring, we get our first hint that Asuka path, where it is revealed that Misato has full knowledge of everything that took place in Asuka's life and her entire backstory due to reading files on her. Misato also was put in charge of overseeing Asuka during her time in Germany. Now, we don't know for sure if Misato and Asuka lived together during their time together in Germany, but we do know they are familiar with one another. So, based on how long they've known each other and the fact that Misato had read all of her files and knows about her back, Background, Misato knows Asuka had major issues. Despite knowing this, Misato makes no attempt to comfort or help Asuka throughout the series. And in some cases, I would argue Misato makes things worse. Asuka makes it very clear how she feels about Ryoji Kaji. Whether or not those feelings are genuine or a completely different discussion, but the feelings are there, and Asuka at the very least believes they are real. Misato knows those feelings are there, and yet in episode 15, she blatantly talks about and points out that she is going on a date with Kaji in front of Asuka. She makes no attempt to talk about the situation with Asuka, instead talking to her about it and then walking out the door leaving her alone with Shinji. There's also the fact that Miss Tato, when she went on that date with Kaji, decided to leave Asuka and Shinji alone in her apartment, which was a horrible idea. Miss Tato decided it was a good idea to leave two hormonal teenagers of the opposite gender that clearly have an attraction towards one another alone in the same apartment at night for hours. Of course, nothing happened beyond a one kiss between Shinji and Asuka, but it definitely could have gone somewhere else far worse if Shinji and Asuka didn't have so many issues preventing them from even talking to one another properly. You could even argue that Shinji responded to Asuka kiss differently that the whole situation could have gone south. The point of the matter is, is that no responsible guardian would leave these two alone in an apartment for hours, and this isn't even the first time she's done it. She did it before in episode 9, and the two damn near ended up sleeping together. Misato actually got off really lucky because Asuka had actually tried to initiate sex between her and Jinji earlier in that episode. But moving back to a previous point, she does nothing to talk to Asuka about her relationship with Kaji and try to work through the issue that she must know is there. Moving on to episode 22 in regards to Asuka, when she hears Asuka having her mental break down in the bathroom, she stares at the door and looks away, and she does nothing. It's worth noting that Misato could hear Asuka screaming in agony and terror as an angel violated her mind earlier in the episode, though she knew the horrible state Asuka was in, yet she still did nothing. 
She didn't even go and stand behind the contamination line with Jinji to talk to Akka and try to make sure she was okay. Ms. Sato clearly had a difficult time forming connections with people that don't involve sex or work. Though, before anyone said it, I do personally believe that her relationship with Jinji is purely familiar. Almost akin to that of mother and child. The kiss scene in End of Evangelion just being her last and final desperate attempt to help Jinji snap out of his depression and help Asuka. Now, while Ms. Sato could certainly do better with Asuka, it is also worth pointing out that like with all of Asuka's relationships, she is partly at fault for pushing others away. I would like to point out that also, in End of Evangelion, when Ms. Sato asked about the condition of the three pilots, she asked about them in a very interesting order. She asked about Shinji first, Asuka second, and Rei third, which seems to match how much concern she shows towards each and the amount of time she spent with each one of them throughout the series. She clearly cares about Shinji far more than Asuka and Rei, but she doesn't know Rei at all beyond working with her at Nerve, so she cares about Asuka more than Rei. And it's also worth noting that when Shinji told her during End of Evangelion that he did something terrible to Asuka, she didn't react to that statement at all. Now how Ms. Sato would have reacted if Shinji told her what he did is a completely different story. Another thing worth noting is that when Shinji's sync ratio finally surpasses Asuka, she loudly Loudly proclaims it over the comm system, so Asuka can hear her praise Shinji for being the very best. Misato knows 100% how much being the number one Ava pilot means to Asuka, and yet she still loudly proclaims how great Shinji is and how Shinji is better than Asuka, where Asuka can hear her say it. Now, none of this is saying that she treats Shinji the best either. She clearly cares about Shinji more than Asuka and goes out of her way to comfort him multiple times throughout the series. But she also guilts him into piloting Evangelion Unit 1, knowing how much she hates piloting Ava. Though she does promise in End of Evangelion that this will be the last time Shinji has to pilot Ava. But at the end of the day, there are points in the series where Misato does guilt Shinji into doing something he absolutely hates. Sometimes she even somewhat uses affection to manipulate him into piloting Ava. But worst of all, after Kaji's death, Misato basically abandoned Shinji completely. By the time End of Evangelion rolled around and Shinji had killed Karu, he is in a terrible state and Misato is nowhere in the vicinity trying to talk to him. While it is true that she was dealing with her own problems at the time, she did take on the responsibility of being the guardian of both Shinji and Asuka, though regardless of what she was dealing with, she is responsible to deal with the problem. At the end of the day, even though she mistreats the both in different ways, Misato Misato clearly favors Shinji and neglects the Asuka throughout the series. Despite all this, Misato Kastragi is still one of my favorite characters in this show, and I look forward to talking about her again in the future. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been trying to make more Evangelion videos because you guys enjoy seeing them and I enjoy making them. With all guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Tell me what you think about the relationship between Shinji, Asuka, and Misato in the comment section down below. You can follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below, and subscribe for more Evangelion content, as well as other kinds of anime, manga, and comic book content. And above all, guys, have a great day.